These friends get together occasionally to guzzle beer and eat pizza. It's a taste of their old American home, now lost to them. They moved to the United States as refugees, some while just babies, and spent most of their lives there. But after falling into gangs and crime, they were deported back to Cambodia, a country many of them barely knew. Their tattoos set them apart from the crowd. Really, our mind is Americanized. You know what I'm to come here is a whole different atmosphere, whole different attitude. You know what I mean? It's hard to adjust. After the Vietnam War, tens of thousands of refugees from Southeast Asia were granted asylum and permanent residency in the United States, but not citizenship. Under an agreement between the U.S. and the Cambodian government, signed in 2002, non-citizens who commit so-called aggravated felonies, covering a range of minor and serious offenses, can be deported. When that moment came for Om Saron, he had already been out of prison for several years, living with his partner and child in California. California. When they hold me, they took me on the bus and took me to the holding tank and sent me off to Cambodia. No, they didn't tell my family or nothing. Nothing. Support is minimal for the deportees, sometimes known as Khmericans because of their dual cultures. Jobs are scarce, and many rely on their families back in the U.S. to send money. All carry painful memories of the lives they left behind. What I'm trying to do is to forget because I know this is permanent. You know, I'm, I'm a permanent resident here now. And I know that if I keep on holding on to the past, I won't live the life that I'm living now into the future. More than 500 people have been sent back since the agreement was signed. Cambodian authorities have said they want to revise the deal, but for now, the Khmerican deportees are resigned to living their lives and feeling like foreigners in their land.